Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today it's May 5th. So welcome back to those who are um, taking advantage of the fact that we're just here reading together a daily reflection based on recovery. So um, I'm here first and foremost so that I can read. This really puts me in the position of reading. So, um, cause I need this, I need this for my sanity and um, I'm here sharing it with you. So, so grateful that you're here with me, like or not, grateful that you're here. So um, it starts off with a quote from Gertrude Stein and it says, it's a peaceful thing to be one succeeding. It's a peaceful thing to be one succeeding. Succeeding, reading, working. Success is at hand. While we read these words, we are experiencing it. At this very instant, our commitment to recovery is a sign of success. And we feel peace each time we let go of our struggle turning to one another for help, for direction. Because we strive only for perfection, we recognize nothing less. We block our awareness of our ordinary successes that are ours again and again. Thus, the serenity the program promises us eludes us. But we are succeeding. Every day that we are abstinent, we succeed. We can think of the times, perhaps only yesterday, when we listened to a friend in need or finished a task that was nagging us. Maybe we made an appointment to begin a project we've been putting off. Our success is taking positive action, nothing more. Many of us in our youth were taught that success only came in certain shapes and certain sizes. And we felt like failures. We need new definitions. It's time to discard the old. Luckily for us, the program offers us new ones. Every person, every situation can add to my success today. My attitude can help someone else succeed too. So, as simple as that, success is at hand because we're doing stuff. You're showing up here. You're listening, whether you know it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, it's none of my business what other people think of me. And as long as you show up, we're just doing our best. And um, we can think of the times, perhaps only yesterday, when we listened to a friend in need. And when we finished, like when I finish things that nag on me, I feel, I feel like that's like that mundane joy. And it's, it's enough, you know, just for today. It's great. It gets me through the day. Sharing and talking with um, my kids, um, seeing how they're doing. You know, I like to do more of that, do more part of their day. And when you're spread apart, you know, so many places, it's it can be difficult. It's difficult for me to to keep up with what's going on, but I cherish the time we spend together. And the fact that they still want to talk to me is wonderful. So I'm really happy about that. And um, seeing how they um, are doing, even if, when they're in struggles. When I'm struggling, I can let go and um, feel peace each time I do that. And um, so what else do I want to say? Um, I don't know. 
I was just thinking about like um, trying to um, like we have we have a meeting now every third of the month, which um, I really I really enjoy like knowing that it's coming. And while I'm in the meeting, I'm like, I wish we had more meetings, like not just once a month. I wish maybe we can have more like once a week or um, maybe once a week. So that to me is a success because I'm able to then um, connect with other people that I may not have ever connected with before. And what's cool is that, um, you know, our, like, our personal situations may be different, but I mean, we share equal, um, like e equality in that we're, we're, we're on the same journey of, of getting to know who we are and, and, um, and appreciating who we are and um, also um, accepting the people, places and things in our life that are not in our control and that's okay. Learning boundaries and what's okay for us and what's not okay for us um, in relationships and um, Couch is scratching something. So, what else do I want to say? So, I wanted to uh, see what I put here. So, this is the book that um, we're reading. First step work. It's an Al Anon book, Path to Recovery. We're still hanging on step one. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and read, uh, not today. So, look for it. I'm going to go ahead and read up to where we're at. For that um so that if, if you want to join um i'll go ahead and just send me an email and i'll send you the invite to register and i'm hoping that a friend who is trying to register will be successful i'm going to be talking to them i try you know we're trying you know sometimes it's you know it's like a process where we're not quite successful at the moment that we want to be successful on like joining something that we wanted to join because like you know maybe our computer or our email or something isn't working and we can't join and we're like oh I'm so disappointed and and I I feel that I I've been there and I've actually helped a lot of people try to get on to different meetings you know because it's like oh I didn't see that like it's a lot of times the computer seems overwhelming or, um, you know, joining something new, you know, with the computer or, or, you know, just something like that. It's somebody was saying in a meeting, they said that they're, um, they're techni they're technically challenged, technologically challenged. <laughs> but, um, this particular person who said that word, who said that phrase always like showed up and did great. It's just like, you know, like we get ahead of ourselves. Sometimes I've seen that in myself where I get so like, I want to know how to do it so bad that I miss something. Like I keep forgetting, to, like keep forgetting to give receipts to people. Like, I'm like, oh shit. Like I forgot to give this woman her receipt today. I'm like, that's the second time I've done that. Like, what is going on? Like, I need to focus and complete my task to succeed in my daily tasks. So I'm noticing that. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm terrible. You know, like I just, I'm like, I just, what do I need to do in order to change that behavior? Not assume that, you know, I just, I keep forgetting like, like, oh my gosh, you know, dum, dum, dum. No, like, I'm like, no be kind to me. I'm going to say, there's something up. I have my mind on other things. 
my mind is, yeah, so what's going on with me? And um, so I want to unpack that a little bit. So by just talking about it, I'm hoping will help with that success and continuing on with, with the topic of the reading today. So just for today, I will, let's see, actually I have other one that I was, yes, that I just found. Just for today, I will try to live through this day only and not tackle all of my problems at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appall me if I felt that I had to keep it up for a lifetime. Mm. <laughs> Just for today, I will try to strengthen my mind. I will study. I will learn something useful. I will not be a mental loafer. I will read something that requires effort, thought, and concentration. Okay, very good. I love you guys. Love you. And um, yeah, I am powerless over so many things in my life, and that's okay. I know what I have power over, and that's myself, my attitudes, my actions, my perceptions, and I can consider considering other perceptions like things that are going on and not have to like try to manipulate my point of view, which I um, I can bear witness to the memory of doing that many times. And I have to watch so that I don't continue to do that. You know, um, living with um, in a in a family that has alcoholism in it or if you have friends or relatives or coworkers or, you know, generations, it could skip a generation, you know, um, but it's an ism. It's like, um, it's a sickness of the soul where it seeps through um, our DNA, basically, not maybe scientifically, but it, it metaphorically and, um, you know, it distorts our thinking. Um, codependency is 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 rampant. Where we um, we you know, I I'll just speak for myself. I um, I'm a work in progress, and it's just one day at a time. I can get through this day and do the best I can. Just make the best decisions possible, and and um. Success, small successes are good. A peaceful thing to be one succeeding. Many of us in our youth were taught that success only came in certain shapes and sizes. I need new definitions. It's time to discard the old ones. And luckily the program offers me new ones. All right, we'll go ahead and say the serenity prayer together, okay? I hope you guys are doing okay, even if you're not okay. You know, we'll do the best we can. Let's get through this day, okay? We're learning to, to feel our feelings and, um, and we can't, we can't do it alone. Let's, you know, keep with the, let's try to connect to our higher power right now, whatever that is for you. So let's go ahead and just take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change. Other people, places, things outside of us, other people's attitudes or actions we cannot control, right? to have the courage to change the things we can, ourselves, our actions, our attitudes, our perceptions, and the wisdom to know the difference. 
So God's will, not ours, be done. So keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it. You are loved. The universe has your back. It goes up and down. Just get through today. You know, wait for the miracle. It's right around the corner. Do the work. It works if you work it, okay? Because you're worth it. And I will see you tomorrow, God willing, okay? With another reading. Check out the channel and you can see many readings on this channel. Courage to change, hope for today, course of miracles, one day at a time in Al-Anon, um, starting with past recovery, steps one through four, and um, many other readings. So it's full of goodies for any type of reference, okay? Mm -hmm. Love you.